Hey everyone, I'm making this uh, quick vlog about this um, cemetery angel that um, my sister and myself made over a um, just two day period out of regular household items that um, we already had around the house. Uh, the bottom portion of it here is just a coffee table that we didn't need. It doesn't have any glass on it and we just put a two by four um, piece of wood and then uh, strung up a broomstick through the middle portion here and um, then put a pillowcase on um, the top of the broomstick so the bristles were right here to kind of create the shoulders. We tied everything down and um, put just bed sheets and this um, sweater that we had that we didn't want anymore of course and um, over it with bubble wrap to kind of fill out the arms. Um, the face is just a mask that we had from Pier 1, but you can get a cheap little um, plastic mask, you know, anywhere now that it's Halloween season. And this was an old wig from a costume I didn't want. Um, the wings are just bed sheets, more of the um, cushiony part of the bed sheets that are um, have a wire through this part. Um, just a clothes hanger and um, we cut it up and of course and just put um, spray paint all over everything so it kind of made it like hard and stiff and kind of held all the sheets together so we went over it with a couple uh, different kinds of spray paint just this Valspar seemed to work the best and it covered a lot um, the high gloss lacquer was on sale at um, Lowe's and then this one was $10 which it worked okay but not that great for fabric really. It worked best on some of the other things that we we used it for more than fabric. So um, it was really quite simple. The, the head was just made out of a trash can that had chicken wire on it and um, lots of duct tape. And we have this crow that we put on it, some spider webbing, a rose, um, some moss here, and just hot glued this little fence that I already had from my numerous Halloween decorations. And, and it's about five foot six whenever it's standing, so to speak, on this table. And we're going to have it up a little bit higher since it's going to be on a um, mound in the yard. Uh, anyway, with a fog machine, it'll have a really nice effect, I think. We have a whole graveyard set up that we're getting ready for right now. Um, we made some a couple extra gravestones as well. Um, right here, out of a um, legs of a desk. And just use a woodcutter to cut this up here. You know, sprayed it with the same stuff as the angel since we had so much left over and um, did this one also and just kind of put these on the back these really helped um, hold them up I did the same for the gravestones that I had bought um, so we're just getting ready for Halloween that I'd add my um, my prop over here because it was such a neat looking um, Halloween prop and um, you didn't have to use you know anything to make it uh, like as far as plaster or actual working with um, anything like that just out of home things that you can look around and see if you have it's quite easy to do having two people help worked a lot but um, I also have my um, Limax Halloween Town over here that I've been collecting over a long time I've like collected Halloween decorations for six years, the whole time I've been married. So, just have uh, lots of stuff. Um, it doesn't you can't really see how good it looks during the daytime, but you get to see all the little things in better detail. So. Just getting ready for our setup. We're gonna. I'll do another video when I have all the Halloween decorations set up. They're um, on their way to getting up there and everything like that. So 
I have lots of stuff, new things that we're, we're doing this year. Complete graveyard in the yard. Um, we have a, um, a couple dummies and that we're using to do like a morning woman in the graveyard with a bench. Uh, stuff like that. So we got into making our own props and things this year because it's just much better effects and a lot less expensive if you kind of know what you're doing. But anyway, alright. Thanks guys for watching.